every once in a while you have to report something that you thought would be the worst thing that could happen and it was going to happen and now it has. Uh, singer Whitney Houston, one of the greatest voices of our generation, CNN has gotten confirmation from a representative, has died. Whitney Houston has died, Grammy winning entertainer, 48 years old. Happened here at 343 yesterday afternoon when a member of Houston's entourage located her body inside this hotel. So far, police and the coroner are refusing to offer details about what may have caused her tragic death. Exactly what happened inside the iconic Beverly Hilton remains a mystery. Paramedics raced to the fourth floor and found a lifeless Whitney Houston inside her hotel room bathtub. They tried in vain to resuscitate her with CPR. At 3.55 p.m. this afternoon, Whitney Houston was pronounced dead at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing? Today here I am at the Beverly Hilton in Los Angeles, California. I've been here a few times before. Earlier I did a couple of videos. Uh, the Golden Globes are held here. I think I did a video about that. And um, possibly a couple others, because I did was walking around the lobby last year. But this video is going to be uh, two parts that you're gonna see. I already filmed the ending in New Jersey a month ago, a month and a half ago, when I visited the grave of Whitney Houston. The incredible, the great Whitney Houston. Sadly, this is the hotel where she passed away, February 11th, 2012, the night before the Grammys. Speaking of Grammys, she won six Grammys, 28 Guinness World Records, 11 number one singles. Uh, I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. I mean, when she first on the scene with her first album, I loved it, but it was her second album that made me a fan. I want to dance with somebody. But it's, it's still one of my favorite songs of all time. I Will Always Love You, Bodyguard. So many hits, great actress, great singer. And she had her demons, as we all know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you up through the elevator to her hotel room, show you the hotel, walk around, show you a little bit more of the Beverly Hilton, talk about Clive Davis's party, and then visit her grave. Let's go. The scene inside her room was chaotic. ABC has learned it appears members of Houston's entourage found her unresponsive body and called hotel security. from Beverly Hilton. Hi, what's going on there? I need a paramedic. Apparently, I got a 46-year-old female uh -huh. found in the bathroom. That's all I've got right now, but they're requesting paramedics. Oh, okay. Female found in the bathroom. What room is she in? I'm not sure she fell or she was in the bathroom with the water. 464? Four, four, 434, four, I'm sorry. That's room 434? Yes.
So this is location of Clyde Davis' pre-Grammy party. Four, four hours after Whitney passed away, it was held in here and it became more of a tribute to Whitney. And they're setting up for something right now, but yeah, that was the night before the Grammys on the Saturday. So just four hours, the show went ahead. Tony Bennett performed. Apparently, I think Brandy and Monica were going to perform, but they were too upset. But it happened right in this room. This is the exit from Beverly Hilton. And this is where Whitney Houston's body was taken from, from this exit here. Very, very, very sad location. I just want to include it. The ambulance was here, limos, it was bedlam. While the party was going on, Clive Davis's party, there was people that didn't even know what happened still in four floors above them. They had no idea. Uh, police and investigators, and it was a madhouse in the lobby and everywhere. And the paramedics, and I mean, and then people started to ask, what's going on? What is going on? And it was just pure craziness. One of the biggest icons of the 80s, 90s, and of all time. And just passed away here. Yeah, it's right there. That's the exit sign. Above. Ambulance went in right. Ambulance went, actually went in through the exit. And then came back out. So she died of heart disease and cocaine use. It came out, she drowned in the bathtub. Uh, that's where she was found and she had used cocaine prior to taking a bath. At some point, it was found in her system and a few other drugs. And you know, he lost one of the greatest entertainers of all time. And she's buried beside her daughter, Bobby Christina. Tragic. Both stories are so tragic. And that was awesome, walking around uh, the Beverly Hilton. Always great to come here. And the pool area is beautiful. A lot of history here. Now we're gonna go across country to New Jersey and visit Whitney Houston's final resting place right beside her daughter, Bobby Christina. Okay, I'll see you there.
All right, made it to Fairview Cemetery here in Westfield, New Jersey. And so I've been to Whitney's gravesite many times, probably about four or five. And I always get a little confused when I'm here because these roads look so identical. The pin on find a grave, if you don't find a grave is, it helps you find grave sites. It's a little bit off sometimes, but usually they're incredible and right on. He's right around here somewhere. I'm gonna find Whitney and uh, Papa Christina and pay our respects. Tonight, uh, down one of these rows. Let's take a quick look. She has a very, very distinct, um, I believe it's pink from what I remember. Yes, pink headstone. And I actually think I'm a little too far over. I think she's over here a little more, closer to there. But as you see, it's right up again. There's so many deer in this cemetery. I've not seen any yet today. But this was, I remember, a real eye-opener when I first came out here. And I saw how many deer were out here. A lot of deer in New Jersey. Just right on the other side of that road, there's a the park and stuff. And where is Whitney? Always get turned to It never fails. It doesn't matter how many times I've been here. It's got a heart-shaped one, I believe. Hmm. Um, I might be way off. Might be way off. No, am I? Hmm. <sighs> Here we are. Whitney Houston, August 9th, 1963, February 11th, 2012. Who does not remember that day? I was in a hotel room in Niagara Falls and my friend told me, I guess he got the news on Twitter or something, and I was just shocked the night before the Grammys. The voice, I will always love you. And beside her, Bobby Christina Brown, resting peacefully March 4th, 1993 to July 26th, 2015, daughter, sister, granddaughter, niece, and friend. And John Russell Houston, beloved husband, father, and grandfather, September 13, 1920, February 2nd, 2003, Whitney's, Whitney's father. I'm home in heaven, dear ones, oh so happy and so bright. There is perfect joy and beauty in this everlasting light. And I, I brought two rocks. I'm sorry, Mr. Houston, I did forget. Are you were here too, and no disrespect. And for Whitney, we'll put it down here. You see all the things people have brought. There's a Whitney cassette. That's her second album. First album was Whitney Houston. Second was Whitney. This is the one with I Want to Dance with Somebody. One of one of the greatest pop albums of the 80s. Her second album is just incredible. Her first album is great too, but the second one, just, that's the one I really took to. American flag, lots of beads, lots of coins, painted eggs, flowers, family dollar. Hmm. And then lots of coins and a little flag for Bobby Christina. You can see the etching of Whitney's face there. Let me get my big feet out of the way. Beautiful. And of course, Bobby's got one as well. So yeah, it's one thing about Whitney's grave is I'm never shocked by um, grave sites of celebrities because sometimes they're just very, you know, they blend in or they're very humble. The one that grave I was, I've always been somewhat shocked by was Whitney Houston. I would expect, I not would expect, I expected uh, more of a shrine to her and a bigger grave site. 
but this is what the family wanted so you got to respect that and it is beautiful and it's very peaceful and of course she's got her daughter her beloved daughter buried beside her Very, very early in the morning right now, especially for me. And yeah, it's just so quiet out here. My goodness. Even the traffic, it's a busy little road usually right behind me. But quiet today. I'm not self promoting, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I have a deep affection for Whitney and. Of course, a certain song from The Bodyguard that I use quite a bit on my Instagram stories because I just love the song and I think it's fitting for so many different things. And she was not just an incredible singer, it's so like gifted, like naturally gifted. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember how beautiful, just gorgeous look at that look at this photo just beautiful rest in peace Whitney Bobby Christina and John that was my visit to Whitney Bobby and John the Houston family here in New Jersey and yeah thanks for watching peace